Calaroga Shark Media. These are so much fun to do. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Johnny Mack with five good news stories. A pair of Florida women are attempting to create a new Guinness World Record. What are they doing? They're driving 500 miles down the state's coast in a pair of toy cars. Cassie and Lauren are documenting their adventures on social media. They set out from Friendship Fountain in Jacksonville. They're trying to make it down to the buoy in Key West. You know, the one that says Southernmost Point. I've been there. By the way, there's also a travel podcast that I host called Travel Is Back. And uh, there's an episode where I was there. If you want to check that out, Travel Is Back, wherever you get your shows. Anyway, they're trying to drive the 500 miles. It's going to take two months. According to them, the Guinness World Records does not currently list a record holder for the longest distance traveled by toy cars. Lauren told the TV station, this just kind of came as a wild idea because we had these cars as kids. We used to ride around with toy cars as kids and I've always wanted a Guinness World Record attempt. So we're like, this would be fun. They're raising money for animal charities, including the Red Panda Network in Nepal, the Costa Rica Animal Rescue Center, the Save a Fox Rescue in Minnesota and the World Bird Sanctuary in Missouri. Meanwhile, scientists have been busy trying to figure out why humans dance. Researchers from France's National Institute of Health and Medical Research found that humans feel compelled to boogie because of the effect of syncopation on their left sensory motor cortex. The scientists discovered that just the right level of syncopation, a mismatch between rhythm and beat, generates surprise. And when people's expectations are not met, it gets them dancing. Interesting. Meanwhile, in Toronto, a pair of bald eagles are nesting for the first time in the city's recorded history. Once common throughout North America, including the Toronto area, the bird was soon seen as a pest for settlers and farmers. Local authorities back in the day encouraged the widespread slaughter of the eagles, promising bounties in exchange for carcasses. Over time, we learned the mistakes of our ways. It was a low point for the population in the early 60s. But in May, the bald eagle was removed from the list of endangered species in Ontario. Good news! 29-year-old Cole has become the first woman to race nonstop around the Earth. This was part of the Global Solo Challenge. She's neither the first woman to sail around the world nor the first woman to sail nonstop around the world, but she is the first to do it as part of a competition. She set the world record for fastest solo female nonstop circumnavigation at 130 days. Satellites allowed her to keep in touch with her logistics team. She told NBC News, solo sailors, you have to be able to do everything. You need to be able to take care of yourself. You need to be able to get up even when you're exhausted. And you have to be able to fix everything on the boat. Her route took her down from Spain, down the west coast of Africa, to Australia, Cape Horn, and up again to Spain across the Atlantic. She chose the southern route because you know how the earth is. It's a little shorter around the bottom, but it's cold down there with 30-foot waves. Yikes. Think about that for a second. I know it's just a number like, oh, yeah, 30-foot waves. Think about a 30-foot wave. One time, she considered abandoning the mission when some critical equipment had failed, and she wasn't sure she could make the repairs herself. Her mom talked her out of that. She told NBC News, it'd be amazing if there was one other girl that saw me and said, oh, I can do that too. Good news, we've caught the escaped porcupines. Yes, they had escaped from a farm park in Scotland. It must be animal escaping season. There's been a run of these stories lately, and I try not to put a bunch of them in the same episode. But yeah, the porcupines managed to break the door of their enclosure and made their way to town a mile away. A local resident calls a report the porcupines were wandering through his backyard. Now, me, if... I saw a porcupine in my backyard. I'd be like, ah, there's a porcupine in my backyard. And I'd not think twice about it. I'd just be like, oh, that's interesting. Local authorities were able to wrangle the porcupines into a trailer for transport back to the facility where they live. The porcupines were not injured during their time on the loose. And those are your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy this program, tell a friend about it. They'll probably get a kick out of it, too. And please share it on social media. It will help grow the show. You have an awesome day.